Welcome back to the Black Book, lords and ladies, as we press on to break the third seal. We are at the post office. Let's enter the gate. Was there something here? No, we got all the stuff. We had the magpie added to our inventory from last turn. So let's open this up. Okay, exit, cart. Note. Refer to Kerr. Go shoot some magpies on the street. I'm sick of their crowing. Crying herb. Crying herb. Crying herb. You cried for so long, but shed so few tears. Don't let your tears fall on the open field. Don't cast your whales over the blue sea. Strike fear to evil demons, half demons, and old Kevin, Kilven, witches. And if they won't bow, drown them in tears. And if they run, banish them to the depths of hell. May my word be strong and resolute with you forever and ever. Remove one harm for status effect. Let's have a look at how this card has been seen better days. Okay. I was thinking maybe we could interact with the axe, but apparently not. Got stuck on some terrain. Restless horse. The persistent neighing of a horse can be heard from the stables. When you come closer, you see a black shadow shuffling around the animal. Scare away the horse, inspect the horse. You take a closer look and recollect your grandfather's lessons. This is a susiedka. You're sure of it. Suzetka. Suzetka is a name for a domivore, a house spirit. In Sudun Uzid, they're often called Sudetko, Pal or Sudetko. Or brother. In Kumi poem folklore, he is called the Suzetko Lon or Veshulon. He is a helpful, he's, he is a helpful rather than harmful spirit. He helps us good. He helps as a good neighbour might, and this may be why his name is similar to that of the Russian neighbour, to that of neighbour in Russian, the Sosed. The Adomovol lives alone, but the Susetko, Susetko is a family spirit. He more closely resembles a patron of the head of the family that lives in an Isba, and his wife and children are patrons to other members of the family. The Susetko warns of danger and protects people and pets, but strongly dislikes when his wards behave inappropriately. He may punish Sven for this at night by pressing on the sleeper's chest so that the chest aches and his breathing becomes shallow. If any livestock has has a hide that is of the same colour as the master's beard, a dumbivore might take a liking to it. If Zetsko likes a horse, he might braid its mane. He may also like braiding woman's hair. Cutting off the braids cause heartache. Okay. Oh, a witch! Do your folk have a cabin here, or something? Why do you torture the animal? Esosietko is supposed to look after the horses, not torture them. So you see me? What of it? This animal is the wrong color. It's not like that of the master. Repel the demon with a magpie. You throw a dead magpie into the stables. The domovoy hisses like an angry cat. The spirit jumps off the horse and disappears into a dark corner of the stables. Okay, so did we lose the item? Yeah, uh, no, we still have the magpie. Well, at least we stopped them from tormenting the horses. off the edge of the screen. No, okay. So I rolled up a cigarette. 
And then I tell him, you know, spicing it up with curses. Then he crowd and disappeared. Happened this year in the hunting season. Was he also asking about your daughter? Come on, Your Excellence. Every knowledgeable passerby thinks he has to pull my leg. God bless. God bless. The nobleman glances at you, flushes red, and nods in a restrained manner. There aren't any horses at the station. Really? And what about your Sivka? The Sasetko has been riding that one for seven nights straight. She doesn't let anybody near. You have to wait for fresh post horses. They're due in the morning. And listen to Samson's tall stories. My name is Alexander. My companion is none other than the station caretaker. My name is Vasilisa. I'm going to the Uzbarovsk factory. You won't make it far without a carriage at this hour. We can play some cards while we wait. Where are you from? From Vilgert. I have business at the factory. The horses could bring me only as far as this station. The locals, perhaps, are afraid of riding in the direction of the factory. Well, what do you expect? The factory is haunted, and now demons have snipped the telegraph lines. What a mess. At this rate, we'll be left without a Tsar. Did the demons cut the lines, or what? Who else? According to you, the demons are to blame for everything. Is Winter also there doing? You bet. Have you heard of Shulikuns? Seasonal spirits coming out of the land on Christmas or New Year's Eve and going back under the water through the icy holes after baptism day. I know about them. And I know for a fact that the winter is not their doing. It's all on the celestial bodies. Really? So what happened to the telegraph? Who knows? The monitor came, took the horses, told me he was going to fix them, took the stable man as well. Samson says the spirits are to blame. He says all sorts of superstitious things. Try living by the forest as long as I have. You'd see stranger things. What have you heard about the factory? It used to be a fine factory. Before the devil came, people started to disappear. There's always some witchery going on. Was it before the recent disappearances? I heard the same thing from the peasants. They say it's a bad place. That's right. Everyone knows the mills are all haunted. Why would the factory be any different? Just don't go in the water if you can't swim. He told me about other cases. Well, there's no lack of misfortune. Pahom sure had it tough. Then all these problems with the brine started. Now they tell me more salt workers are disappearing. God is punishing them. Or oh, the devil. What about you, Alexander? Where are you going? I'm going to Logova village. I'm a doctor. Studied in St. Petersburg. The doctor there has his hands full. A difficult case. We've been exchanging letters. I know a little about folk medicine. What happened here? A witch doctor. A noble trade, but not as effective as the scientific approach. Well, listen. The peasant girl developed a kind of emaciation. She can sleep at night, hallucinates. What do the people say? The usual things. Curses, kalduns. I know how to deal with that. Perhaps I could- There's no curse there. I mean, are there even such things? There's a sick girl in Logova village. Come, I'll be waiting for you. I mean, I'll be in the village. Yeah, let's play. Let's see if we can win a game. Hearts are the winning suit, and we don't have any. So, he lost, he's on 10. Okay, let's go. We'll go... 9. Ah, I can't play anything. some cards he got some okay that's bait something out of him
He doesn't take, he takes one. Yeah, I had to stop that. Because he's stamping on my cards. Dagnabbit. He's got to win if we're not careful. Uh. Yeah, let's go king of that. Let's start off with something low tier. Let's see if he can match it. He's burning through cards. He won. Let's see what he can pull out. I did win. Uh, well, congratulations on your winnings. Right to you. Oh, Vasilisa. So, how's the horse? I'll go check on your livestock. Maybe I can calm it down. Go on. His Excellence also has places to go. He's been waiting. Yeah, I've managed to calm the horse down. Let's get back. Oh, Vasilisa. So, how's the horse? Not time to go. I managed to calm the animal down. I made arrangements with the Susietko. Well, what do you know? All right. I'll get you where you need. Thank you for not sharing any more of these wonderful stories. They aren't stories. That's what happened. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Road to Ustboro. The caretaker points in the direction of Ust Urolka, and the cart with Alexander in it departs to Logova village. As you plan your next moves, you're interrupted by a shadow that appears suddenly on the road. Call out, hide, attack, let's draw a circle. You quickly draw a circle. The shadows come closer while you prepare the black book. Soon... Who goes there? I'm from Vilgert. I'm headed to the salt works. Cross yourself first! You make the sign of the cross over yourself. Phew! I thought I'd run into a demon. That kind wouldn't be willing to bless itself. I was sent for a night watch from Ustbarovsk village. Shirts are bothering folk at the factory. You're heading there? Well, yes. I'm an ore from Cherdin. I'd like to help. A witch? I'd, I'd better get going. What did you hear about the missing people? Gone without a trace. At first, we thought they'd gone on a drinking binge. But no, they went missing during their night watch. I heard there was a thick fog on those nights. Looked like a river overflowing. What have you heard about the missing salt? I heard it went missing long ago. Must be some thieves. Could it be Chorts? Could be. Oh, kingdom of the Lord. I used to be a salt walker once. See? Ears are all eaten away. Better ears than the immortal so though. So trade. After the beginning of May, once the spring floods allowed ships to approach cities, the arrangements for trade for trade caravans began. Salt was sent to Novogrod, the center of salt trade. Laborers soldered large sacks full of salt and carried them onto the ships. The salt 
so it irritated their ears and neck, which swelled and turned red. This is the origins of the widely known phrase, salty-eared permiac. Well, God bless you. Okay, so we've got Black River Bank, Core, 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 Core Woods. Okay, let's go to the Riverbank first. And we have an encounter. Get some knowledge. The murmur of the Chornaya River can be heard amidst the darkness. You also hear several voices nearby. A prickly sensation on your back tells you they belong to the spirits. Read a Zakafa, read a prayer. Let's read a prayer. Having heard your voice and the holy words, the spirits disappear. The only thing you hear is a water splash. On a stone by the water, you notice a wet comb. You leave the river behind and go back on the road to Ust Barovsk. So what did we get? Mermaid's comb. We've known for fishing, we're known for fishing, but not just singing, mind you. Fishing starts before dawn. Men come with nets, fish and spears. There used to be quite a bit of fishing in the river. One time the lads threw insult at uh, Rulsilka, Ruska, causing her frightened because she frightened away all the fish by combing her hair on stones. She dropped her comb and the lads fools that they were picked it up. And wouldn't you know it, their nets tangled up. The fish escaped and the chief crow and the crew chief got sick all of a sudden. Some witch talked some sent into them, told them to return the comb. They came back to the same place, put it under a stone, and placed a loaf of bread as an offering with Bill and the boot. Next morning the offering was gone and they wouldn't know it, so was the chief's ailment. The net started bringing in plenty of fish to sell again. So we got a comb, which is basically a health boost. Okay, let's go to Corcoran of Woods. You cannot travel at this time. Let's leave the location. Okay. Grim Forest. You sense something wrong beneath these branches. You have goosebumps, a sign of a devilish presence. You look around. Your only companion is humming among the silence. Suddenly, a dark figure steps out from the shade. It is a scribe, a Zagavr dealer. The wisdom that lies upon Duck Bay. Alright, so what does he have for us? Um, blue stone, well versed regeneration, well versed. Okay, that's interesting. Burning herbs. Do you assign that to enemies for each herb used? Yeah. Firm. Page remains active for one turn. Curse all. Plus one to all enemies. This one looks nice though. So boost. That's actually a nice one to get hold of. Don't like the idea of the burning herbs one. But we do have some herbs to spare. So I will grab it. That's a bill we need. So if we check the book. Yeah, Moon Brothers, which is nice. And I suppose the burning herb. We have it if we need to burn herbs. We do have quite a lot of herbs. Good for emergencies. Okay. Corcoran Woods. Sharp pine trees overhang the road like the legions of demons you've seen in many icons at the Church of the Trinity. You nearly jump. The forest darkness is torn apart by a flaming whirlwind hurtling over the trees. Proska. Proska advises you to follow the demon. Could he be the one to blame for Logova's misfortunes? You run after the fiery whirlwind. 
You think that you've lost it, but then see it above the trees again. The chase leads you to Logova village. The fiery omen circles the chimney of one of the houses, and then vanishes. Interesting. You knock on the door of the Izba, next to which you saw a fiery image vanish. Alexander opens the doors. Inside, the doctor has already prepared the remedies. Among the bottles, you notice several old candles. I didn't expect you to answer the invitation. But come in. Here is the sick girl. On a bench, under the icons, lies an emaciated woman. Her eyes are open, but clearly do not see. She whispers abrupt phrases. He'll come. He'll be back. He'll be back. What are you talking about? What are you waiting for? Vanya, he's back. I know it. It seems that this woman is delirious after several sleepless nights. This Vanya, is he presumed dead? He's alive. Alive. I've seen him. He's well except for his missing spine. Her husband was killed in action. The news came not so long ago, they say. I saw a demon near the village. That's the tales of Samson. They make you see things. No, I think Evil Spirits has a hand in this. Of course they did. Don't believe me? I know for sure a demon's at the demon comes to the girl in the image of her dead husband. It drains her of her life force and can lead to her death. What spirit is to blame for her sickness? Um, let's think about this. A call dune, perhaps, but we saw a spirit flying over. Um, let's look for what we have. The chalk won't let me rest, they were torture me to death. Okay, maybe a call of dune. Uh, let's see. Little men, perhaps. Not a witch. Not that. Let's see. Let's go down. So that's the name of a spirit. House spirit. Let's see if there's anything in here. It's either got to be a cold dune or a dumb of all. Uh, let's get a hint. Dead husband. Some sorts taking him to dead relatives. Often the husband comes to grieving. Such so sorts fly into the sky for a stream of brooms or splint um, on a spindle. Only on the ground assume the dead man's image. One can recognize this demon by the absence of her spine. So it's a demon, it's going to be a cold doom. Perhaps a witch cursed her? No. It's more likely that the fiery snake is at fault. Some sorts take him into dead. Okay. It all fits. The dead man, the visions, the lack of a spine. He must be close right now. Close? Yes, he's here. Soon my Vanya will come. Like, well, I don't know what the fiery spirit was. It wasn't in the almanac. Unless I'd missed something. This is the thing, like, you have to sort of read these things very carefully. I can't see anything. The thing is, there's normally very clear hints in in these tales. Fiery snakes. Can't see anything like that. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's a shame. When did she fall ill? The local doctor first wrote to me about her several months ago. A long time. We won't cure her with words at this point. There's this type of chort. They take the form of the dead and visit the living. They can also look like their husbands. <sighs> we need to ambush the chort that's been haunting her. If we get on the stove, you'll see it with your eyes if you're close. This is madness. If we don't do this, the woman will soon follow her husband. No powders will make her better. Besides, they say that educated men like to put everything to the test. Alexander reluctantly agrees and gets on top of the stove. You don't wait long. Sparks fly out of the mouth of the stove and out crawls a pale chort with cow's hooves. For a moment, you think you hear Alexander whispering protective zagavers. However, you have no time to think. You need to decide what to do next. So... See it here, like the fire snake. This is the thing, this information would have been useful to us before we had to make the choice. An evil spirit called a fire snake often presents itself as a woman who presents herself to a woman who is grieving for the loss of her husbands. To its victims, this demon is indistinguishable from its loved ones. But for outsiders, it appears as a ball of flames or sear, sear of sparks. It sometimes brings gifts to peasant girls, which it then, which by morning turning to stone or dung. One can also identify the snake by its back, which appears to be like a coffin or rotten flesh. Let's attack. Okay. Rage. Increase is blessed by five for every health lost. Eternal suppressing deals. One damage reduce when taking Okay. So it's going to pass that, so it's oppression. That's going to be annoying. Okay. Armor up, please. And we'll come out swinging. It should give us a bit of damage on top of him for the first turn. Ah, we took it. Oh yeah, so it does give us waste. This is going to be painful. Yeah, that artifact is nasty. We should not have used it. Okay. Okay, this is gonna hurt. It's also poisoning us now. Oh lord, that's nasty. We need to get something to get rid of status effects. Remove negative status effects. Let's do this. Yeah, this is really painful. This thing isn't messing about. Okay, so we need to heal. Like, we're dead this turn. Unless I use herbs. This is gonna suck. Let's 
so we lost. That is unpleasant. Where's the save? Let's try the auto save. You knock on the door of the Izba, next to which you saw a fiery image vanish. Alexander opens the door. Uh... Inside, the doctor has already prepared the remedies. Among the bottles, you notice. I didn't expect you to answer that. That was the clue. But come in. Here is this. On a bench under the. Hill, come. What are you talking about? Vanya. It seems that. This Vanya. It... He's alive. Alive. I... Her husband was killed in action. I saw a demon near. That's the tales of some. No, I think. Of course they did. Don't believe me? I know for sure. The demon comes to the girl in the image it's... of a dead husband. It drains her of her life force and can lead to her death. What spirit is to blame for her sickness? It was in the earlier clue. We didn't have any information because it was the clue of the fiery thing we met outside. It looks like a fiery snake's doing. It all fits. The dead man, the visions, the lack of a spine. Close? Yes, he's here. Soon my Vanya will come. Okay. First things first. We are taking this off. Because this is not great for us. Okay. Um... Extra health, press battle start. What would be useful to all enemies? The first look of always has a glass demon to, to it. Battle start. Gotta get this out. Okay. When did she fall? The local doctor for a long time. We won't cure her with words at this point. There's this they take and visit the living. <sighs> okay. Let's try we doing need this to again. Ambush the chord that's been haunting her. If we get on, you'll see it with your eyes. This is mad. If we don't do this, the woman will soon follow her husband. No powders will make her better. Besides. They say that educated men like to put everything to the test. Alexander reluctantly okay. agrees and gets on top of the stove. Let's try talking you to don't it. wait. Hey, you demon, come again yesterday. <sighs> All the strike in a book. Who's on the stove? Why do you torture this girl with a fiery snake? Get out while you still can. <sighs> you guess it. That's what I think. That's enough. The stove won't stop me. I'll get you. The chort turns into a sheaf of sparks. You jump off the stove and draw a circle. Okay, so we have to fight it. Increases best by five for every health lost. Okay. So we need to come out swinging with this thing. Let's try punching it in the face. So that's going to hit us with poison. His rage ticks down. We take damage, okay. He's gonna punt us, so that actually isn't great. Um. Get some armor up. Just have to poison him out. Let's 
So he's poisoning us. So we need to get rid of his benefits. Definitely that. I'm gonna take a, a good chunk of damage, it's just gonna hurt. Let's burn a herb. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use this. No, I need to remove that. Let's move, use that to remove harmful status effects. Okay. Um, more waste. You just need to burn this thing down quickly. Yeah, this is bad. Um, I don't have anything. Good effect of poison. Okay. It's not a lot I can do. I'm going to take a hit from this, but this. It's not quite dead yet. waste is nasty. Okay, we need to end this because otherwise it's just gonna absolutely... Actually, wait. Oh, uh, I've... why did I do that? Just nuggets. I pressed the wrong thing. Ah, uh, we lost the gaps for cards. No, no, that was stupid of me. The chort breaks out with a brilliant flame and disappears into the stove. It won't return to this Izba, but it's better for you to prepare for your next encounter with it. You inspect the sick girl. She looks a bit less pale. Her strength is gradually returning to her. Alexander thanks you modestly and prepares to set off. The young man avoids looking at you. It seems his meeting with the demon had a profound effect on him. He reluctantly admits that he whispered some prayers while sitting on the stove. Okay. We've got a level. Rewards. Orders each turn. Prices are less. Slight of hand. More gifts. Active slot items would be nice. Word deals plus one damage. I'm going to have another item slot. I know it seems strange, but the ability to hold additional items is really powerful. So I'm going to grab the Dig Magpie, have it equipped, because then it means we get like a, a lot more read like healing in which is important these ones are okay but it's only at the start of battle plus five health it's okay that is just rubbish i'm going to get rid of it okay but this didn't we check out this the grim forest oh no we did this is all ticked that's all done no it's not ticked What we did the Grim Forest. You have goosebumps. A sign of a devilish presence. Oh, it's you look around. Seek me out, girl, and I will grant you knowledge. I can help you gain a better grasp of your book 
and all the wisdom contained within. Yeah, basically he's offering stuff here. Um, Eternal White, one sin. So, okay, what is it, what's this? It cost us one sin. Ah, okay. And this one gives us piety and blessings. It boasts up both that and that. That's nice. Okay, and let's see. Inflict damage equal to the enemy's active curses. Enemy status curse times three. That's nice. Having bless and piety, which means that increases our armor and stuff, it's good. Um. Let's just grab that one because I want to see if it increases our sin. No, we seem to have got rid of some sin actually. That's nice. That's good. And here we got the fire spirit. That was my own mistake. I didn't read the description of what was going on, but the fiery thing sort of tipped me off. Um. Yeah, the removing negative status effects is really important. I might need to get some more of those. Right. That's for next time, folks. I've been Cornish Knight. This has been the Black Book of Man. This chapter is a lot harder than the last one. I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>